Alliance of Young Nurse Leaders and Advocates, Wikipedia Article Audio Chairperson, Reiner Gira Antiquera slash Secretary General, Jonathan Mani slash Corporate Treasurer, Maria Cristina Swagon slash Corporate Auditor, Raymond Garcia slash The Alliance of Young Nurse Leaders and Advocates, also known as AINLA is a professional organization in the Philippines advocating for the achievement of the United Nations Millennium Development Goals, universal health care, and advancement of nurses' rights and welfare. It was established in the year 2009 and registered with the Philippine Securities and Exchange Commission in 2010. The headquarters of the organization is currently located at Villa Rural Street, in Pasay City. History The Birth of Ainla Nine young professional nurses got together to establish Ainla aiming to advance certain youth and health issues. Ainla was conceived late August 2009 taking in a different name for its organizational test run. Moreover, it was launched in a different name and calling to serve as a springboard to the AINLA it is now. The organization was formally conceptualized and was drafted in September 2009. There were a lot of glitches and heated arguments creating the major stirring in the then organization until it reaches reorganization and eventually a lot of grey areas leaving many of its founding members left hanging in mid-air. Tensions arise and many discontented leaders just left the organization in inactivity. The then board of trustees was stirred by political issues and many issues left unanswered leading to the disbandment of the board. The disbandment led a revolutionary turnabout leading to a new organization, the primary calling of Ainla came in. Before the disbandment of the former board, the then organization met with the Philippine Nurses Association the motherboard of all nursing organizations in the Philippines. A question was raised on what is the specific nursing area of concern the organization was bearing. After the meeting, the then officers have decided to take nursing leadership and management as the flagship program concept for the organization the primary calling of AINLA. By then all programs and services of the then organization were geared towards leadership. After the stormy disbandment of the former board and after the untimely resignation of all its board members, the rise of Ainla comes as fast as the disbandment of the former. Taking into the mandate of nursing leadership, management and now incorporating the concept of advocacy, the new organization took its new name and quickly reorganized itself to serve as a cushion to many of its wandering members of its status. The disbandment of the former board now created two separate and totally different organizations, the former organization and AINLA International. The new organization is composed majorly of the leaders of the former organization but was given the options to choose between the two. Similarly, in the local levels, members were asked to choose between having their membership active in the former or the latter, but was discouraged from becoming active members of both since there may be conflicting interests among its leaders. After the storm that hit the leaders of the former organization and now taking the banner of AINLA, the leaders have met and talked about the next steps for the new organization. One of the stronghold leaders of AINLA created series of consultative meetings with its circle of leaders and trusted members to finalize and concretize the plans to establish a national and international organization of young nurse leaders. A new board arises and is now called the Alliance Board. Vigilant and assertive, the Alliance Board quickly assembles itself and restructures the organization. Ainla now starts from the ashes. But just as a glorious phoenix has to die to ashes to give birth to a more lasting and powerful phoenix, such as the former organization has to be left to spring a better and more dynamic organization that is now the Alliance of Young Nurse Leaders and Advocates International. 
Call of Leadership Ainla, now taking its global stand on healthcare and leadership, unanimously agreed that the UN Millennium Development Campaign on the Eight Millennium Development Goals needs to be addressed properly mostly in the nursing and healthcare professions. The rising HIV incidence rates, depressing maternal health and increasing child mortality rates alarm the leaders of Ainla and have seen its grave impact in the nursing profession where nurses are in the forefront of these main issues. Ainla believes that all the eight MDGs are related to nursing and health care and, therefore, must take serious actions to address these. A new mandate from the stronghold leaders of Ainla now includes the participation of the organization in every MDG and aligning all its programs and activities in achieving the MDGs through nursing leadership and advocacy. With this, Ainla now has a more meaningful existence and a more compelling drive to push the advocacies of the organization and work with the international arena. Another global calling that Ainla was called to participate is the celebration of the 2010 International Year of the Nurse and International Celebration of the Centennial Year of the Founder of Modern Nursing, the late Florence Nightingale, and the global nurses serving the world. The IYN is spearheaded by the Nightingale Initiative for Global Health and Sigma Theta Tau International, the International Honorary Society of Nurses. IYN also advocates and pushes the UN MDGs in the global arena. Ainla is fortunate to be recognized as a partner organization for the Philippines to hold this activity. Rise of Ainla Currently, Ainla traverses the painstaking road as it expands its borders in the national and international nursing arena and encouraging more new generation nurses to be active in the profession, its causes, and to further develop more nurse leaders today. The Ainla seal is the emblem used by the organization both domestic and international. The shield symbolizes strength and protection and assurance while the globe symbolizes the global competitiveness of each member in providing health care and it also symbolizes the reach of the services of the Alliance. The lamp symbolizes the nursing profession and the laurel leaves symbolize peace, advocacy, education, and nobility. The Bibayan inscriptions, the ancient Filipino way of writing, Pinuno which means leader in English. Ainla is currently implementing adolescent HIV nursing model for community-based treatment, care, and support project in partnership with United Nations Children's Fund and Department of Health. The project aims to provide adolescents living with HIV a rigorous, comprehensive HIV treatment, care, and support through integrated medical and social care approaches to achieve better health outcomes. It specifically aims to pilot an HIV nursing model that caters to ALHIV needs through community-based approaches in two high-burden sites, to develop and implement standardized non-discriminatory, youth-friendly, nursing module for treatment, care, and support of ALHIV, and to generate evidence through documentation of knowledge product and experiences including lessons learned. Starting it right Further, a national steering committee was established to provide support in the successful implementation of the project and in meeting its objectives. It will serve as a governing body providing strategic leadership and governance oversight. It is expected to make key policy decisions relative to adolescent HIV nursing, guide the implementing partner in the execution of the project, and provide reviews on the results of the project evaluations that will take place periodically. More importantly, the NSC will help in ensuring the sustainability of the project that will provide quality and efficient HIV care, treatment, and support among adolescents. The members of the NSC include Department of Health, Department of Social Welfare and Development, Council for the Welfare of Children, National Youth Commission, 
and regional DOE-DSWD offices. AINLA and the UN Millennium Development Goals Campaign the organization partnered with the Department of Health in conducting series of community town hall assemblies known as USAPANG KP where the DOE can directly consult the people on their needs and problems concerning health care delivery in their community through AINLA's nurses. Inputs of these assemblies were used for policy development and recommendation to the Office of the DOE Secretary for the proper implementation of the Universal Health Care Program in the Philippines. AINLA and the 2010 International Year of the Nurse AINLA also worked with the DOE and Probe Media Foundation for the implementation of a primary health care roving bus called Lakbebue Kalusugan touring 10 key areas in the country doing health promotion activities. It also partnered with DOE in the implementation of the national monitoring and evaluation activities for the Renheels project. AINLA also worked with PhilHealth ensuring the effectiveness of the implementation of its program, PhilHealth Cares. It was invited by the PhilHealth president to be part of the multi-specialty group called PhilHealth Watch that will help monitor PhilHealth's programs. The Road Less Traveled Lastly, AINLA also worked with the International Labor Organization on Health and Migration Issues. AINLA is known to be publicly supportive of having a national comprehensive reproductive health law emphasizing the role of nurses as health educators, patient counselors, and consultants. It joined the technical panel of experts which reviewed and finalized the draft of then Reproductive Health Bill. Finally, AINLA participated in developing the implementing rules and regulation of the said law. AINLA actively participated in advocacy efforts within the Universal Health Coverage Coalition, led by Global Health Strategies on behalf of the Rockefeller Foundation, to raise awareness about the need to expand affordable and quality health services. AINLA most recently demonstrated its commitment through hosting a successful event timed to Universal Health Coverage Day 2015. AINLA's program Kalangang Bayan, the National Nursing Mission was selected as one of the national finalists of the 9th Tayo Awards, organized by Tayo Foundation in partnership with the National Youth Commission. The said project focuses on providing essential health services to communities including health education and consultation, as well as providing training of health workers. Awarding ceremonies were held at the Malacanan Palace, Philippines. AINLA contributed to the effective implementation of the 6th UNFPA Country Program of Assistance to the Government of the Philippines from 2005 to 2011, which supported national and local partners to prevent maternal deaths and achieve Millennium Development Goal 5. The Alliance Seal a plaque of commendation was awarded to AINLA by the Health and Lifestyle magazine, under the category of Health Education and Public Service, for its program focusing on patient education and health promotion. Partnerships and Programs AINLA's program known as POD.RN the Nurses Podcast Project was selected by the Connecting Nurses as one of the winners of the 2011 Care Challenge Awards, under the Helping category. The program aimed to deliver interactive online shows educating essential health concerns. Healthy Lifestyle Exemplar Awards Care Challenge Awards by Connecting Nurses Adolescent HIV Nursing Kalusugan Pangkala Hayden Philippine Reproductive Health Law UHC Global Coalition Accolades and Recognitions